Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Banner Saga 2. Alright, uh, we've got uh, another bit of tutorial. Uh, this is a training tent where you can hone your skills by completing challenges and through freeform sparring. Click on the training tent to begin your first challenge. Well, come on and let's have a look at you, Sven the trainer says. After a quick assessment, he says, Yep, looks like you can stand to learn a few things. I've got five challenges for you, and if you can finish them all before we get to Arboring, well, I'll let everyone know you've impressed me. Ha! <laughs> Sven's laughter is full of phlegm. Not exactly sure how I would make that uh, sound, so I'm not going to try. Let's start with a few of the basics. You think about what he's saying. You feel up to the challenge? But thou must! I'm ready. And then we begin! Oh boy. Alright, let's see. So, form a shield wall, kill an enemy using puncture, use heavy impact to damage three enemies at once. Click on an objective marker to see de detailed instructions. Oh, okay. Position your raider adjacent to an ally. If your archer is stationary and the enemy's armor is damaged, kill him. When Hakon, or any Varl warrior, attacks a target, all enemies adjacent to the target also take damage. Okay. So we've got uh, some generics here. Let's see. Shield wall. Adds one armor to allies and himself while adjacent to the ally. We've also got uh, all of these uh, spearmen here. Alright, so... Ah, just... Okay. Uh, normal caravan morale does not affect your hero's willpower in battle. Maintain sufficient supplies and rest in camp to improve morale. Alright, so let's uh, get right here. And we have uh, formed a shield wall. Just end turn. Oh, clear, clear that. Alright, so... want to use, uh... I guess we can just pull into, uh, um... Form a shield wall again. I'm gonna use some willpower. That's kind of rude. Alright, so, unfortunately, we cannot move over there. So let's just move up here. Let's see, Sundering Impact. Uh, rank 1, 100% to hit. Strength damage plus 1, 1 break to target. Uh, strength damage plus 1, plus one, 1 break to target, 1 strength, 1 break added to heavy impact. Well, we don't want to do that just yet, then. Let's just go for a regular attack. And go for three armor break or seven total damage. Let's go for some... Well... Let's see. Kill an enemy using puncture. Alright, let's... Let's just go for this. We'll use one willpower. Kill him. All right. We've got bird of prey. Our arrows at greater range with 100% chance to hit. Let's actually go for this guy for now. It's not a whole lot, but I want him to, uh... I want to be able to, uh, um... You're awfully injured right now. I want to be able to use the, the Sundering Impact to... or the Heavy Impact to damage three enemies at once. So, let's see. Attack this guy. 
do one armor break. Actually, let's go ahead and use the willpower. Do extra. Ow. Do a little bit of armor break. Not a whole lot of armor break. And there, there, there that guy goes down. Kind of figured that he would. But let's get uh, Hakan up here. Sundering Impact. Um, I'm not sure if we'll get uh, two of them. Let's go with that. Okay. Did a little bit of damage there. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. We don't need to use any willpower on that. That should be killing an enemy using puncture. And unfortunately, I'm not going to use get the heavy impact damage three enemies at once. Do some extra armor break there. Ow! Well, let's just kill him. We're in pillage mode. And there that guy goes down. Doesn't look like I can actually... Uh, hit him. So let's just move up here. Do some armor break. And we'll kill him. The battle horn is full of stars, and I missed the rest. Fail of failure. You did not uh, did not manage to do all of that. All right. Well, plus zero renown. All right. So I imagine that we would get renown if we managed to do the uh, training set. The if we succeeded in the training session. Well, that's unfortunate. Check back frequently for more challenge sessions or spar anytime you like. Normal caravan morale does not affect your hero's willpower in battle. Maintain sufficient supplies and rest in camp to, pro to improve morale. Let's see, can we... Uh... Let's see. What can you show me? Alright, I'm ready. Let's see if we can do this again. Alright, so... The shield wall is going to be the easy one. Alright, let's actually move you back here then. There we go. And turn. I cannot hit three at once. How are you actually doing? Seven armor. Let's move up and do Sundering Impact on the two of them. Alright, well that did kill one of them. Let's see, Bird of Prey hit him, or hit him. Didn't really do all that much. Hmm. Let's just uh, move up, get some extra uh, armor defense. Okay, there we go. is actually almost dead. This heavy impact to deal to damage three enemies at once. Well, no, actually we're not gonna 
damage three enemies at once. Hmm. Alright, well, there he goes down. Alright, nope. Bird of prey. Ten damage. Alright, so... We got the, the puncture, but we we didn't get the three uh, enemies at once. Ow. So we're not going to make... We're not going to uh, succeed with this... Um, challenge either. armor break on this one. Only do one damage on him. Let's do the armor break. Get lots of extra armor to break in. Alright, so unfortunately we are not going to be uh, succeeding on our challenges here. kill this guy. Probably should have moved right next to that guy, though. There she goes down. Percentage chance to hit means uh, target armor is greater than your strength. Break the tar target's armor first to avoid deflections. Well, let's just try that anyway. There we go. Is pillage mode, but then there go there goes that guy. There we go. All right, so again, not a not that good. Still failed to uh, get that heavy impact one. No renown. I really want to get that. Some of your units are ready to be promoted or improved. Use the hero's tent to upgrade them. All right, let's try it again. Now, what can you show me? Ready. All right. So let's start by moving you back here. Move up there, do some damage. Let's uh, move you back here. I'll let you guys come in a little bit. Let's do a lot of armor break there on that guy. Alright. Um, it's going to be a good place to go. I mean, I'm kind of taking a lot of damage here, but I really want to get that uh, heavy impact... Uh, thing. Enemies adjacent to the target take one strength damage each. Alright, so let's see. Alright, if I set myself right there... That's 
See, I need the. I think I need them to like line up in a in a row. Was well, it three enemies at once, including the one that I hit? That's the question. Okay, there you are going there. You're attacking both of us. There we go. Okay, good. I did get it. All right, and go with uh, just that. Kill that guy with puncture. There we go. Okay, all right, so that's all we actually had to do. Shield wall, puncture, and heavy impact. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Plus 12 renown. Oh, I want to keep doing that. Doesn't look like it uh, actually s costs any time to do that as either, so... We should probably uh, um, level some people up then. Uh, with 13... Um, might be best to uh, level up Gris. Although, he's not eligible for a promotion. Okay. Uh, we could certainly level up Hakan. See for nine. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we've got uh, two points available. We could increase his strength, or we could increase his willpower, or we could take one of these. Um, Actually, we could do, uh, let's see, hunker down or tighten straps. I think hunker down might be a little bit better for him, since I probably will end up using him uh, a lot more in frontline combat. Let's go with that. And I think I want to bump up his strength a bit more. Okay. All right, we don't have enough to uh, get anyone else uh, to a higher rank, um, but uh, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, I'm not sure what we'd get from actual sparring. Just want to spar. Let's see. Good. Maybe you'll figure out a few things on your own. Sven looks excited. I'll send some fools for you to smack around. Turn order. Units move in the order you place them from left to right. This initiative order is very important when setting up strategies. For example, put archers after melee units so that they can sa stay safe behind your heavy hitters. Drag the unit icons to re rearrange their orders. No, I think we're, we're okay with that. Let's get ready for battle. Training Tent. The Training Tent allows you to safely spar with other fighters in your caravan. While sparring, your fighters are never injured or granted renown. However, defeating opponents will increase your kill count to help you promote heroes. This is a safe place to train and test strategies. The trainer will give hints about playing effectively and has something to say about each ability. Remember to come here to test out new characters as they join you. During deployment, you can place uh, your units anywhere within the blue tiles area. You can select a unit by clicking its tile and then deploy it by clicking on an empty tile. Alright, I actually shouldn't have uh, done ready yet. I've got better things to do with my time if you're not... something right. Okay. Um, Alright, well... So if we can't get Renown, then uh, this really is just for getting kills, which I don't really need right now uh, on any of... Well, Moger, perhaps. Or Gris, not Moger. Or... Whoever. Let's see, yeah, he's got plenty of kills. 
Uh, Gris does not, though. Um, so yeah, actually, that 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 could be useful. Um, I'll try to keep that in mind. Um, I don't think we'll do that right now, though. All right, see what you have to say. You watch for a moment as Ivan, Juno's apprentice and the mender found nearly dead at Ridgehorn, moves his staff in a complex pattern, pre uh, repairing some armor. Not a bad festival trick, right? I've seen worse. And I've seen better, like yours back at Borsgard with stopping Bellor. For, uh, let's see. So we could say for all the good it did. We saved quite a few, didn't we? Actually, I don't want to talk about that. Uh, for all the good it did. Ivan watches you studying your face before speaking. I know the pain in your eyes. Remember when we left Sigurholm? I just knew if we could wait one more day, Juno would arrive. And you were wrong. Like you are now. You saved hundreds of lives. Each one grateful for your leadership. And all it cost me was my daughter. I'd give anything to have her back. Ivan's face falls. You don't know how dangerous that thinking can be. What do you mean? Or... You're probably right. Or say nothing. I'll go with, what do you mean? He seems to shake himself from some distant memory. Nothing. Just believe me. You protecting these people, seeing them to safety? It's the only hope for the future. Ivan picks up the repaired armor, hitting it with his staff to test it. I'm glad we could talk, but I need to check on the fighter who was wearing this. Alright, well, we've got uh, normal morale. Uh, 34 days worth of supplies. Uh, so let's just go ahead and leave for now. Get back onto the, uh, onto the trail. You look at all the food freshly placed in the supply carts. What's this all about, you ask, Godleif? The clansmen are trying to help as much as possible now, she says. Whenever they can, they'll forage for nuts and berries, or fish and hunt. Well, I'll take some uh, additional supplies. That'll make it a lot easier to uh, um, uh, actually, you know, rest for morale, which was a big problem in the last game. She hands you a piece of fruit. They may not know how to fight, but they can keep us alive by keeping us fed. We actually have more Varl than we have Klansmen. Do not have many fighters. Shouts from one of the rear longships grab everyone's attention. The quick construction is proving faulty and the ship is taking on water fast. With Dredge on the bank and all the other ships almost at capacity, you consider your options. Bank the longship for repairs, have the Klansmen board other ships, dump supplies to make room on other longships, ask shipwrights for advice. Let's do that. We'll need her out of the water, says one. Nonsense, just plug the holes with some cloth and tar for now, says another. As they argue, clansmen begin jumping from the sinking vessel, grabbing for ropes and extended oars. Most make it aboard other ships, but not all. Ah, minus four clansmen. Minus three fighters. Oh, minus one var. Morale declined. Oh, great. Weak morale. Looks like we might have uh, something up here. Time on the cramped longships is proving too much for the children. They're climbing ropes, interrupting rowers, and constantly leaning over the sides to touch the water. Some Varl and clansmen look annoyed. I uh, remind everyone that this will soon be over. Say nothing. Keep your kids by your side. We're at war until Arborang. Move families to specific longships. Um, I think we'll go with this one. Try to get the parents to... Uh, keep a tighter rein on the kids, I suppose. Some mothers give you irritated glances, while a few Varl smile in your direction. Regardless, there is no denying the children are safer by their parents' side. Exactly! Minus six supplies, morale declined. We do have a lot of supplies, but... The river suddenly gets rough and the water is moving much faster. Rowers try their best to avoid rocks, but the longships weren't built for such maneuvers. Each impact is jarring. The ships rock and a few oars snap between stones and each other, but remarkably, the fleet survives with only minor damage. 
As the river calms, several parents thank you for reminding them to keep their children close. Oh, hey! We might have lost some kids in that, I guess. I made the right choice, everyone! It's amazing! Morale improved! Not that we improved from weak morale, but... Let's see if we're gonna get to an event here. Smoke from a village catches everyone's attention, and the longships begin to slow. I doubt these scraps of wood we're floating on can hold many more, Ivor says. You feel the governor's gaze on you, and he slowly shakes his head. Uh, we can ignore the village and head downriver. You want me to turn my back on them? They might resupply us for our trouble. We'll help as many as we can. Let's go with this one. They might resupply us for our trouble. Ivor cocks an eyebrow. And who will re resupply them when they realize that the trade routes are blocked by dredge? You give them a look and wave the ships to shore. When the ships land, you and a few others rush forward, rush toward the smoke. But the closer you get, the stranger the situation. There's no sound of battle or people panicking to put out fires. Keep going, Bulwark growls. We'll see what the dead are carrying. The Varl's comment defies tradition, but so do many things about him. Let's push on to the village to investigate. A barn is the only thing burning. No one is around. Unusual, Oddleif says. Some kind of trick? Uh, let's see, feels that way. Let's get back to the ships, or... Not sure, but let's look for supplies while we're here. Maybe that fire trapped someone else? Let's go with that. While everyone looks for buckets and water, some Varl carry a, a full yox trough to douse the barn. The door and front wall are soon smoking charred remains, easily kicked open. Unfortunately, there is nothing of note inside. After a slow trudge back to the others, Ruga stands aboard a ship, shaking his head. Some thieving bandits ambushed us and took off in a supply ship while you were on your do-good mission, he says. We'll be even more crowded now. Glad you're at the helm. Oh, bite me. Maybe you should be better about, uh, um, protecting our stuff. Clansman Forge, plus 12. Well, that's good. Um... Uh, when we finish up a day, well, a large clump of hazelnut trees looks like a good place for clansmen to stretch their legs and gather supplies. Once on land, the children laugh while kicking around leather-wrapped balls of rags. You notice a varl on the edge of the clearing, silently staring into the woods. He's watching a lone dredge grunt stalk a squirrel. Might be a hundred of them in these woods, the varl's whisper is still loud enough to scare the squirrel and alert the grunt. It looks at you and the varl before slowly backing up. We could get the entire caravan back on the ships, kill it before it alerts other dredge, watch the dredge, track it if possible, back away leaving the dredge alone. Well, I feel like killing it before it alerts other dredge is probably the better option. But uh, I think we'll call this an episode here and uh, see what... Uh, and think about it off screen. When we come back, we'll have made a, I'll have made a decision. See you then, everyone.